Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing this evening? Thank you very much for joining in. Right off the bat, if you guys would be so kind as to please hit the like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And thanks to all of you that have shown your support and are long or new subscribers. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 20 seconds in and I'm already messing up my sentences while I'm trying to... Work through my crappy laptop being crappy. All right, we are back. How is everyone doing? About my about two weeks since my last live stream, at least NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. That is, I did an I Racing one last night that didn't turn out so well. But we are back with the Can I Recreate streams. How is everyone doing? As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Miguel Paludo's 2003 Talladega flip. At the finish of the... Is that the Fred's 250? It was. As you saw by the... The little... Thumbnail on the bottom left during the wait screen. The pileup starts and Miguel Paluto gets clipped. He rolls over and basically everyone else... Except for Johnny Sauter piles in. As he wins the race and Miguel Paluto... Slides on his roof and comes back on his wheels just shy of the start-finish line. Unfortunately, I don't have the full video pulled up. Little disclaimer, I'm going to be a little rusty with these live streams. My first few back from my vacation, since I haven't done these in a little bit. But we got the 2013 roster that comes with the CWS underscore SS. That's Super Speedway. The Camping World Truck Series mod, which I have the link for down in the description. I think so. Alright, so let's just get right to race. I believe this is the same version of the track of Talladega I used for Can I Recreate Chris Busher's 2016 Talladega Flip. It's really close in a year, and I had really similar settings for it. I needed the grip to be turned up, and I have the AI drafting and bunching distance turned way down to hopefully get the AI cars to cause their own wreck that I'll get clipped by, similar to how Chris Busher did when he rolled over on the backstretch. Happy birthday, Dale Jr. fan, 88, if it is apparently your birthday, which I believe you. What is your favorite track? That's a good question. I like, really like the Watkins Glen races. Talladega obviously is always a fun one. Daytona. I like Bristol. Let's give you guys one more of my favorite for a top five. Huh. What would be my fifth favorite track? Let me think about that during this first attempt. And I will get back to you. Oh yeah, and as you can see... By the bottom left hand corner, I hit 20,000 subscribers while I was gone on my trip. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Obviously couldn't have done it without you. Never thought in my wildest dreams I would ever hit 20,000. But I have no intention of stopping these videos, so... Whoa! Whoops. Whoopsies. Holy crap. I just pulled a... Chris Cro Cockrum to the extreme. Then I had a little weight shift roll over from the grip being turned up at the end there. See what happens? I can't talk and do these videos at the same time. Jeez. Why is this not working on my phone? Alright, give me a little bit longer to think of a fifth favorite track. What would my fifth favorite track be? I mean, I want to say Homestead. Because it's unlike any of the other tracks, and it, uh... Obviously, usually determines the, champ the, the champion at the end of the year. Yeah, I'll say that. In no particular order, Talladega, Daytona, Watkins Glen, 
Bristol and Homestead. At least if we're talking about just the Sprint Cup tracks, or the, sorry, the Monster Energy Cup tracks. I'm never going to get used to saying that. And I know this is kind of a random can I recreate to come back to after a two week gap, but I've had this on my to-do list forever. I already had the event made, a bunch of people are requesting it. Which I apologize for not having the little screen captures of the comments in the beginning. That's another thing I forgot to do with this one. I'll try to remember that for next one. I usually go to my comments page and go through the last month or so and see if I can find a suggestion of the one I'm about to do. If I do, I screen capture that and include the comment in the in the wait screen. So I apologize for not doing that this time. So, from the looks of it, they haven't caused their own wreck yet. Need to get a couple tandem tandems going on. Oops, I need to switch to third. Switch into fourth too early in the with the CTS physics. Especially in the Super speedways will slow you down if you're at the start of fourth gear. All right, come on, start wrecking. Start wrecking right now, please. If not, we're going to have to turn the bump drafting distance down. All right, I just tried my own spin. Hey, I flipped in the trial. We'll look at that. Except I did more of a Christopher Bell type flip. And I never went back on my wheels. <laughs> Did that look deliberate at all? Alright, we'll try a couple more times before we go back into the track settings and start tweaking things around. It kind of looked like Mike Skinner's flip when he hit the banking, those two, two and a half tumbles that he had. Gotta say, after driving on the road in a real car, actually a really nice car, 2017 Impala, felt like I was driving a NASCAR. That was our rental car. Drove a lot of miles in the last two weeks in that thing. And coming back to this little plastic sim racing wheel. It's still fun, it just doesn't feel quite the same. Thus confirming my suspicions that I'm probably going to need to upgrade my wheel sometime within the next year. So I'm going to start saving. Thinking that entry level fanatic wheel looks good. It's in my price range. It's not too terribly more expensive than this was, but a lot more high end from what I'm I've read. Obviously it's not gonna be a like ten thousand dollar wheel. I think it's about four hundred with the wheel and base. Which honestly is only one hundred more than I spent on this Logitech. Alright guys, I need you to start wrecking when we enter the tri-oval. Please and thank you. There's Johnny Sauter in the 98. He's not in front, but I can always switch the paint schemes around to have him be the one that survives. Whoa! Right into Ryan Blaney. Alright, we're gonna try another lap. Let's go on board with Miguel Paluto. We're hoping they wreck coming into the trioval on the next lap. And not any sooner. Alright, we are three wide on the bottom. Just hold my line and we should be all good. Please start wrecking on the front stretch. Coming into the trioval, please. If not, I'm gonna turn myself. All 
Oh, they're not wrecking, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I kind of flipped at the right spot. I just went back onto my wheels a little too soon. And obviously, I want the other cars to start wrecking first, so I'm not content with that. The other trucks, sorry. The 31 truck was up in the air too that time. Alright, we're gonna try one more, then we're gonna go into the track I and I and turn the drafting and the bunching AI settings down a little bit. Excuse me. Oops. Sorry. What app is for your wheel to map keys on Logitech? I'm assuming what software do I use? When you buy the wheel, at least for me, when I bought it new, there's just a software that comes with it, the Logitech software. And then you just install it there, and then when you load it into N when you load NR2003, as long as it's plugged in and the software is installed, it recognizes it as a controller. Then you just do all the calibration and setting or uh, button assignments and programs like you'd normally do with a controller. Yeah, Logitech gaming software. It's the one that comes. I'm sure you can download it online, but yeah, it comes with the... Does it come with the wheel? I can't even remember if it came with the wheel or if you just download it from their website. I'm sure there's both. Alright, come on guys. Please wreck. Start spinning each other coming into the tri-oval. I will be very happy. Oops, I shifted into fourth a little too soon that time. I was going to start slowing down. I downshifted back into third. I mean, they're pretty damn close, but they're not quite wrecking yet. Now we are four wide. Alright, we're gonna try one more lap. We are four wide. Oh. How the hell did I save that? Oh, because the grip is turned up that way. I otherwise would have wrecked. <laughs> I've been playing this game for a while, but I'm not that talented. Alright, come on guys. Please, please start wrecking coming into the tri-oval. I need to do this reenactment. If not, I'm going to tweak the setting so you will wreck each other. Perhaps too soon, though. Alright, they're not wrecking, so I'm going to wreck. Whoa, we hit the entrance to that safer barrier. I believe that's what sent us all flying. Holy crap. Right where the safer barrier starts, I believe a couple of the trucks got clipped. Holy damn. And that is exactly what happens. Yep. The 60 is a big casualty. The 17 is a big casualty. The 8 truck Got hit from that pretty good. Holy damn. Holy damn. Alright, so, since they're not wrecking when I need them to, I will change the settings so they have no choice. Woo, ha, 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 ha. Alright, sorry. Alright, Talladega 2014 BP. Alright, I loaded up the INI file. Oops. Sorry, my mouse is being really screwy. I need to get a new one. I think the grip is good. Maybe I'll just turn it down just a hair. So I think once I get, if I get clipped right, 
I shouldn't have any problem going over. I just need to have the cars, or the trucks, sorry, start wrecking each other first. All right, drafting distance, 1.1. Punching distance, we'll turn that down another tenth. Save. All right, now that that is saved, we are going to load the game back up. Stupid mouse. All right, is everything operational again? Just clicking on this and the chat to make sure those aren't frozen. Loading everything back up the way it was. I'm turning yellow flags off just in case I need to use any of the... If I need to use the pace truck on board cam for any of the wall shots, you CCM experts know what I'm talking about. If you use the pit lane one camera to try to get those wall shots, a lot of the wall and uh, bleachers and stands will get like cut off on the edge, but if you use the roof cam for like the pace truck and keep it stationary, you can use that for the wall cameras and nothing will really get cut off the edges. Maybe I'll, I'm sure someone's made a tutorial explaining that because I didn't learn that on my own. I think I learned that from maybe TNT Man 93, one of those guys. I'm sure they made a tutorial about that. I think we got the nerdy guy doing the call. Start your engines. Alright, now that we turn these, the drafting and bunching settings down, let's see if they start wrecking each other. I'm starting right in the middle because that's right about where Miguel was. Stupid hairs on my microphone. Green flag. I'm not making any guarantees, but depending on how tired I am tonight, I might do part three to my NASCAR Dirt to Daytona live stream later tonight. Yes, I know it's school time. You guys are all back in school. Not everyone, but a lot of my viewers. And I know that's late, but that's the only time I really have to stream those. Alright, come on guys, start wrecking each other, please. If not, we're gonna wait another lap. Whoa, that was close. Alright, we're gonna wait one more lap. And see if they have a wreck caused. Coming to the trioval next time. We actually have a couple tandems going on before they all decide to split up and overtake each other. Oh, sorry, Ty Dillon. All right, I think that made this attempt busted. Perhaps, maybe not. They just need to start wrecking. Coming into the trioval right now. Do it. Do it! You bastards. I think I need to turn the drafting distance down even more. Alright, we'll try another lap. I guess this is faster than just... Restarting each time. Alright. 
Oh yeah, of course, now they start wrecking. When we're not on the front stretch. I see how it is. Oh, he didn't do a blowover. <sighs> what happened on the back stretch? Nothing huge. Of course, there's not going to be a huge pile. Put that grip turned down. Or up, I should say. Oh, darn it. All right, we'll try again. There we go, I have my chat loaded right here now. So I can try to see it a little bit better. Holy shit, the video is way behind though. Why is that? I still get black flagged for that. Alright, please. God damn it, did my camera just turn off? I heard my camera shutter. Because I use a DSLR for my webcam, and sometimes it gives me a little trouble. And start wrecking coming to the tri oval. Are we gonna have to wait another lap? Looks like we're gonna have to wait another lap. Ty Dillon is in the wall and slow up on the outside line. Alright, they're all single file now up in the lead. Once again, I'll just wait another lap because that's faster than just restarting. Hope they wreck in the right spot. Then just a couple cars past me, or trucks, sorry. Might have to turn the grip down a little bit more. they have too much control even with the lowered drafting and bunching distance they have too much control they're not really causing any wrecks on command I'm just gonna try right here fuck it nope nope that was a complete and utter failure. All 
All right, I'll try one more, and then I'll try changing a couple more of the settings around. Probably try turning the grip down a little bit, and the bunching and drafting distance out just ever so slightly. There we go. Don't tell me what to do. Check this out. I got a decent phone that I can now live stream from next time I go to the Slinger races, which are probably over now. I got your chat in the live video so I can see what's going on. I'm trying to set that up right here so I can see it good. Can I make the chat a little bigger? I can. NWTF? Is that the national what the fuck? <laughs> I'm purposely letting a couple other trucks pass me. Oh, they almost wrecked right there. Come on. All right, we'll try next lap. No wrecking, but this is some fun racing. Oops. Four wide again. There we go. That was my fault. God damn it. Shortcut. Haha, uh -huh, I win. Kind of. If you count that winning. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Alright. Now we will change a couple settings back around. Boom. Back into Notepad. I have to exit the game first. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, bunching distance. This is going out to four. This is going zero eight. And grip can go down a little bit more. Doesn't need to be that high. Save. Alright, loading the game back up. That was a quick edit. Alright, same settings as before. Alright, let's do this.
Let's see if those minor edits get us the AI wrecks that we need. So we need all the other cars to start crashing each other and one of them to clip me and send me over. Just making sure the chat wasn't frozen. Oh, what's going on with the 27 and the 33? Oh, we got the leader pitting. What the hell happened there? Yeah, that was weird. All right, please start wrecking, but not too soon. Once we get to the enter in the tri oval. Then you can start crashing each other, but not any sooner. And once you crash, one of you guys clip me, send me on my roof, let me slide until right before I get to the start-finish line, then I'll come back over on my wheels. Then voila! Hopefully it'll be as simple as that once I get the right settings. Something tells me it's not going to be, though. It's not going to be that simple. Alright, so we'll try another lap. Alright, I kind of like how they're spread out a little bit because the pack in real life wasn't quite as congested as it was sometimes during these first few attempts. There was more tandems like this to start crashing each other. Do it! Alright, fine, I will. I didn't even get sent over. But my car, truck is still drivable. You know what that means. It's time to go rogue. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm about to have even bigger problems with the motor. Even bigger time problems. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. I was about to say, how is there no flips in that entire thing? I almost spoke too soon. Alright. That was my one rogue attempt. 35 minutes in, I only went backwards once. You gotta give me credit. <laughs> Alright, so we're still trying to dial in the perfect settings to try to get the AI cars to start wrecking come into the tri -oval, while also having the grip at the right level. Hoping that if I get clipped in just the right way, I'll get sent over. This is gonna be a tricky one. <clears throat> kind of reminds me yeah, of like the 2016 Chris Busher flip or 2013 Kurt Bush flip, where some other cars start wrecking first, clip someone else, and then that weight shift sends them over. 2009 Mark Martin, etc. etc. Oops. Got a bad jump on the flag there. 
I'm almost in the back of the pack. Ooh, I almost screwed that up. Actually going back down to third. Works better. Oh, now they start crashing, of course. Now they start crashing where I don't need them to. I see how it is. Let's take a look at that. I mean, I need that to happen coming into the front stretch. Next. I got sent into the wall hard with that last bit of contact from the number five truck. thousand subs congrats yes thank you very much I was very excited and I didn't want to leave you guys high and dry and just leave absolutely no videos while I was gone so I hope you appreciate all those I racing videos and the dirt to Daytona ones and the couple reenactments I had all those videos that I posted while I was gone I know there wasn't any live streams but I thought I'd do the next best thing and at least have a decent amount of uploads to come out while I was gone Spent a decent amount of time before I left for my trip putting those together. Alright, wait till the trial will start wrecking this time, guys. No, four wide isn't gonna help. Alright. Come on. Alright, start wrecking right now. 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 Bastards. Alright, we'll see if it happens on the next lap. Where's Johnny Sauter, by the way? Oh, he's behind me. Come on guys, single file isn't going to do it, but right in about three seconds you need to start wrecking. Now. Alright, fine, I will. Oh, I went back on my wheels. I think I still have the grip up a little too high. Time to go rogue again. Losing faith. <laughs> I always love that one. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Oh yeah, just you wait. You don't know how reckless it's about to get. Hey, fl I flipped. Save and edit. Alright, next. Driver, 
I don't think the chat froze. I think it's just coming through, through really slow. No one's talking. It is late on a school night after all. <laughs> and I kind of did this one. I know I postponed this one again. I have a bunch of stuff going on before I have a wedding video gig coming up this weekend. So I've been busy getting ready for that and unpacking and all that stuff. Getting it back into the usual routine of things. Come on. I need some cooperation from the AI in this one. Because I haven't really gotten a clean attempt yet. This one requires the AI to start flipping. Or the, not flipping, start wrecking. Unless I turn the chassis grip up and I cause the wreck myself. And I count on coming down into a truck and having the tire hop go on and having them get sent up and over. But that sounds even more intricate than what I'm trying now. Oh yeah, of course, now they wreck. God damn it. Well, there's still a decent pack here. If these guys in front of me wreck, we could still salvage this attempt. Which doesn't look like they're going to do. Holy shit. Now that was a hard hit. And no, I didn't mean for that to rhyme. I just got destroyed by... Daryl Wallace Jr. Bubba Wallace. Wait for it. Bam! Arca breaks much? Next. Yeah, of course, they started wrecking in not the correct spot that time. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna... Actually, I think I have decided which one I'm gonna do tomorrow. It's one I've been wanting to do a part two for forever. And since I did part one, I've... I mean, I discovered this a while ago, but it's been that long since I did part one. That there are multiple physics for different mods, including the Cup 90 mod. That I can use Cup 9... Or, uh, the Cup physics for the Cup 90 mod to go even faster and have a bigger chance of a blowover, so I think tomorrow I'm going to be attempting part two at trying to recreate Ken Schrader's 1995 Talladega flip where he had the blowover on the backstretch and subsequent tumbles. Alright, please wait till the trial will, or come into the trial will to start wrecking. So far, so good. God damn it. Guess we're waiting another lap.
wreck yet. Don't wreck yet. Keep it together, but start wrecking in about 10 seconds, please. Alright, right about now. Start. Do it. Bastards. <sighs> this stream ain't going so well, ain't it? I don't know if it's me being rusty or this one just being difficult, but I think it's a little bit of both. Like I said, if I have time later tonight, I'm going to probably do, maybe do part three to my Dirt to Daytona career live stream. Currently on the Modifieds. If not, I'll probably do that sometime in a few days. I want to get back to doing that again. That was fun. God damn, my camera just made a noise again. Please start wrecking on the front stretch, but not any sooner. And they're already four wide. And they are four wide. Don't start wrecking yet. But if you want to keep like that and start wrecking in about 10 seconds, I would love it. Come on, start now. Now. Oh, damn it. Alright, I guess we'll try waiting another lap. Trying to stay like in the middle, a little towards the back. And of course they start wrecking when I don't want them to. <sighs> Johnny Sauter turned Ty Dillon right into me. Saw a couple other trucks wreck hard into the outside wall. A little further down the track, I didn't see who though. These guys. Ouch. God damn it. <laughs> Stupid mouse. Miguel Pluto. I'm starting to lose faith with this one. These are the hardest type of reenactments to do is when you need the AI cars, or in this case trucks, to, to start wrecking first on command in like a very specific spot. It's the most difficult type of reenactment. Come on. Oh, 
let this be the the attempt. Oh, there they go. There's the big one. That was like a trick shot right there. <laughs> Yay, I flipped. <laughs> Reenactment complete. That was the most hellish, crazy, discombobulated first two turns I've ever seen. Let's see that from my roof cam. So they start wrecking. They're not quite wrecking yet. They're all just... That's where they start wrecking, and then I get piled in. And everyone starts wrecking. I get hooked to the 33. That happens. Then right here, I just want to spin myself again. Then I get spun by this dude, and then the weight shift right here sends me upside down, into the wall, and back upside down. Can you tell I'm getting bored? <laughs> Not bored, just losing motivation with this reenactment. Because they won't wreck at the right spot. The bastards. Maybe we need to go on board again. And the cockpits look really nice for these Camping World truck mods. I do like that the hands are included. It's a nice little touch. It gives you a good, uh, in addition to looking kind of real, it gives you a good, uh, kind of a test whether your wheel is properly calibrated. And it looks about on point with what mine is. Rotating at the same speed as. Alright. Come on. Please don't wreck till you get to the trioval. Or right before the trioval, I should say. I'm going back to chase. I need to be able to see what's going on. Oh, there's already some cars out of control behind me, but they, it looks like they kept it together. Now we just need the cars in front of me to start wrecking coming into the trioval. Come on, please start wrecking right now. Damn you. I need to get up a little bit closer to the front. Maybe I'll try spinning them. I'll try clipping a car into another one, then maybe that'll set off the chain reaction. That is, if they don't do it on their own this time. Come on. Oops.
Well, time to go backwards again. That was probably the lamest thing that could have possibly happened. Oh. Try to crush them right as they're coming out of the turn. Oh, we got Ty Dillon. <laughs> Jesus. All right, I don't know what I can do to give myself a better chance. than what I've already been doing. Well, we're gonna try three more times. And I'm gonna do a big backwards wreck involving 42 trucks. And I gotta get going, unfortunately. It's approaching that time of the hour. For those of you wondering why I'm using 20 trucks, it's because I looked, I counted about how many were in that final pack at the end of the 2013 Fred's 250, and there was about 20. There was actually about 18, but I figured just a couple extra would maybe increase my chances of getting a AI-caused wreck, or like I need to. I had plenty of wrecks caused by the AI so far in the stream, just none in the right spot. Please, wreck coming into the trial bowl. How much is that to ask? It's not asking that much. Especially since you've done in basically every other spot on the track other than the coming into the trial bowl. Oh. Nothing yet. Oh, got a bump from Dylan there as he makes a move to the outside. Meanwhile, I'm still re waiting for these guys to start wrecking in front of me, which it doesn't look like they're going to. So it looks like I'm going to cause my own wreck. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That one's not even worth a replay. <sighs> I wish there was a way where you could control what the AI do if you could program to just like them to take a hard left at a certain point in the track. Or just program a certain AI to take a hard left at a certain part of the track. Why can't you do that? <laughs> All right, two more attempts, and then I gotta get going. Ooh.
Holy crap. It was a long day. This be the one. Will it? All right, they're already four wide. All right, just stay in third gear. Looks like they're set up to start wrecking. If one of them gets sideways, come on. Come on, right here. Do it. God damn it. They wrecked in the right spot, just, just behind me. So I tried just taking a right, just pretending like I got clipped. But it didn't work. Just behind me, they started wrecking. Darn it. Alright, last attempt. And then I'll exit out, turn the number of AI back up to the max, spawn back into the race, and go backwards once. Can I do the final wreck at Talladega 70s, 80s? Why not? Everybody loves Talladega 70s, 80s. I really have to sneeze right now, so I apologize if... to run off camera for a sec. Alright, it went away. Last try to determine whether I can do, start doing some editing or if there's going to be a part two. Green flag. Whoa. Joey Coulter. How the hell do you pronounce that dude's name? The 77. That just proves I have the right settings. I'm just not getting good luck. I mean, I accidentally... That was totally my fault that that wreck started. But look at that. I got clipped. And when I got clipped and sent over, I flipped basically exactly like Paluto did. In real life. I'm going to try that once more, because, yeah, that was my fault that the wreck happened prematurely. But that just proves I have the right settings for this type of wreck. I'm just not getting the luck I need to have the AI start wrecking and then clip me like that. Oops. So I wasn't completely off. I'm just not getting good luck. Kiroga. <sighs> I'm just 
just not getting lucky. I have the right settings. If I get clipped by an AI in that exact way, I'm gonna get sent over and flip over perfectly. As that just showed, but I'm just not getting lucky enough for the AI to start wrecking at the right spot. Please start wrecking, coming to the trial bowl, but don't do it any sooner. There, I guess we're trying one more lap. couple small tandems going on, but I don't know if that's going to start the wreck that we need. Tried to take that guy out if you couldn't tell. I guess we'll wait one more lap. Patience, Cody. Patience. Maybe it'll all pay off in the end. Or maybe I could just be wasting a whole bunch of more time. I'm just going to try this right here. Nope. Ouch, but nope. Alright, time to go to Talladega 70s, 80s. Crank this up to 42. Talladega, 70s, 80s. We'll do the usual once, going the right way, waiting for the AI to wreck, and then I'll go backwards once. So I guess we're going to have to do a part two for Miguel Paluto's Talladega Flip. And for those of you that haven't seen yet, I have tweaked this track to be ideal for wrecking. This is my wreck avoidance practice track. See if it lives up to its name. Oh, there goes one truck already. <laughs> Look at that pack, holy crap. Oh, are they not wrecking up at the front yet? 
Oh, there goes a couple. Oh, I couldn't make it through. Wait to get the leaders coming right here, but then I'll go backwards once after this and get the entire pack, right? or try to. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here they come. There's a big one. Ouch. We had three trucks roll over in that. What happened to Johnny Sauter? Oh, go back. Stupid mouse. There we go. End over end. All right, one last run where I go backwards and try to take out everyone. And with how this track's set up, I'm just going to do it as they're coming out of turn two into the back stretch. See if I can get every single truck, including myself, obviously. Because they'll basically be up to full speed as they're coming out of turn two. And they're going to have a huge chance of prematurely wrecking before that. Or any time after that, I should say. One last hoorah. If I quite got everyone, but it was hell of a lot of trucks. Yeah, it wasn't quite everyone, but it was a hell of a lot of people. All but like 10, maybe, escaped without any damage. Or escaped without some sort of damage. Alrighty. Sorry if the stream was a little rusty. It's been a couple weeks since my last Can I Recreate. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed it nonetheless. I sure as hell did. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Check out my social media links down in the description. I also have the links of the, the mods and tracks and stuff I used in this uh, live stream, so check that out. And that's about it. Let me know your suggestions for future videos down in the comments. And I think that's everything. Thanks again for watching. Hope you all have a good rest of your night. Until the next time, hope to see you then. Peace. Bye.